think this is the first time I've ever had to start a video with a warning. Today I'm going to show you two settings that you can do on your Samsung phones to recalibrate the battery. Now, I have been doing this since the Galaxy S6 Edge. I've been doing it for quite a while, obviously. It has zero implications on my data. It does not wipe out the phone, but it really does help calibrate the battery. I've also confirmed that with two people who work in the cell phone repair business, that this is absolutely fine to do. But again, warning applies. If you are new to this, um, check out this video first, how to get more life out of your battery with these, with these settings. Do that first. If you're still having battery issue, come back to this video and check the rest of this out. Now, for the rest of you who are ready to do this, Let's go. So this little thing is going to work on both the Galaxy Note 9, the S9, the Note 8. I'm actually going to do it on the Galaxy S6 Edge. Yeah, you have to follow the instructions step by step. Make sure that you back up your phone first. Again, disclaimer applies. You saw the intro. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that our phones are charged. And what we're then going to do is we're going to go into the recovery mode. Now, your phone doesn't have to be rooted. You don't have to install any software. This simply works as it is. Phone is off. What we're going to do is that we're going to go into recovery mode. I'm going to hold the power button, the Bixby button, and the volume up button all at the same time until you see the screen. Right. This is the screen we're looking for. So to navigate the screen, you obviously cannot use the touch screen. You're going to have to use the volume up, volume down button. And then the power button is like the enter button. What we're going to look for is an option called wipe cache partition. Now do not make a mistake and go to the previous one, wipe data factory reset. That will erase your entire phone. The one you're looking for is the wipe cache partition. Be absolutely clear that you're hitting that option. Once you're in that option, you're going to hit the power button. It's going to ask you to confirm it. You go down to the yes, and then you press the button. If you change your mind at this stage and you want to just abort all this and, and say, oh, this is too much for me, that's also cool. Go back up to say to no and reboot system now. Press that. It's so basically pressing enter with this button. And now your phone will just boot up as normal. Let's do this on the Samsung S6 Edge. To get into the recovery mode, there is no big speed button. So you have to hold the power button, the volume up button, and the home button all at the same time. So one, two, three. Hold it all together. Keep holding it. And there we go. Now you can let go and it's going to enter into the recovery mode or the install system update mode. Okay. Now you're going to see the same, the same screen. Wipe cache partition. Press the OK button here. Are you sure? And we're going to say yes. And now you'll see it starts running a whole bunch of commands at the bottom there. And now that's pretty much done. So it's pretty quick. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go reboot system now. And that's step number one. Now this will take you straight back into your phone as per normal. As you can see, all my applications are here. Everything is already logged in. I don't have to log in again. All my information is still here. No problem. Right, so that was step number one. Step number two now is in the phone itself. You're going to go into the dialer, the phone dialer, like you're going to make a telephone call. What you're going to do is you're going to enter the following. Star, hash, zero, two, two, eight, and then hash. What you're going to see is a button at the bottom called quick start. You want to Press on the quick start, it's going to give you this warning. And just click on OK. And now you'll notice the screen goes blank. Don't panic. It's going to do that. And then the screen comes back up again. 
So now you can see that my battery has gone up to 100% and the level is at 100%. Now, obviously that's not true. It was 89% or something before we started this process. So what I have to do now is say to the phone, okay, you have to get the battery level right. So the way to do this is I'm gonna switch off the phone and I'm going to charge it up to 100%. I've now plugged it in and I need it to get up to 100%. Right, you can now see my battery is at 100%. So let's go back into this dialer thing. Star hash 0228 star or hash. Right, levels at 100%, levels at 100%. The two match up beautifully. Sometimes you might have to do two or three times the same process until the two level out. The most important thing is to make sure that your phone is charged to 100% before you start this process then make sure you disconnect it. Don't do this whilst it's connected. Then see when you redo this process to ensure that those battery levels match up. You might have to do this two or three times until the two actually indicators do match up. Sometimes this drops by 20%, 30%, 50%. So you can see that the two were out of sync. Now they're perfectly in sync and I know that my phone's gonna operate much better. Now, out of the people that I spoke to, um, some of them say that you actually should repeat this process one week later, seven days later, after you've done it, just go through the same process again. Apparently it really helps the software align itself with the battery. Another pro tip from the people that repair these phones is to say that you should actually factory reset your entire phone every six months. And by doing that, it actually wipes the phone, gives it a fresh start, and you simply restore your data from backup and your phone has a new lease of life. If you do that every six months, it's like good maintenance on the operating system and the battery life of your phone. Just remember, over time, battery will actually start to lose its charge, its ability to charge to 100%. So at a point, you are gonna have to replace your battery, especially if it's an older phone that you've been using for years and years and years. All the charging, discharging, charging, discharging, all of that takes an effect on the battery itself and it will need to be changed at a point. So these are gonna help you, but it's not a solution forever. At the end of the day, we are dealing with a real battery. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're into phones, gadget apps, tips and tricks, hit the head below to subscribe. Check out some of these other cool videos and I'll see you on the next episode because that's Tech Simple. Cheers for now.